Thank you. That was good. Thank you. There you go. I needed it. Okay. So you have a look through them? Sure. Appreciate you bringing them out. You said you got um. Uh, uh, stuff. The is very deep in a hole. Oh, okay. I don't have that one. You said you have other ones, but you're you're not. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not, it's my classics and hard ones to get. Gotcha. Yeah, Double Dragon. That's a good one. You collect as well or is it stuff you just had? I, so I noticed you had old school... Uh... Uh, no, this is stuff I've had since 1986. Oh, check you out, man. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> and you got PS1 as well? Uh, a few of them in there, yeah. It's, uh, like the Siphon filters. Uh-huh, got those. A couple of the uh, Final Fantasies. Got a Final Fantasy seven or eight black label, like not the greatest hits, but uh, with the black strip on the side. No. No. Uh, Super dodgeball. Okay. And I loved it. I can't find it anywhere. I've been looking for it for years. Super dodgeball. Yeah. That's hilarious. It really on the black. I have a, an app here that just keeps track of all of my. Uh, yeah. So I just I make sure when I buy games from people, I just make sure. I'm not rebuying something I already have. Looks like you may have kept a lot of the good ones inside, huh? <laughs> um, any idea on uh, price-wise what you'd be, you know, looking to get? There's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen games. Like, is there a price that would make you comfortable? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't even know if this one's gonna work. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it does. Cool. So what were you thinking? Um. You, you deal in this more than I do. Yeah. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um. Would you take forty bucks? <laughs> no. No. Is uh. I'll be up around like seventy-five. Around seventy-five. Some of them are worth over ten to fifteen dollars each. Yeah, the um, yeah the most uh, the most expensive one here is definitely Contra, yeah. the original one. Yeah. Um, would you meet me halfway at fifty? I'll do sixty. Fourteen. That's less than five bucks a game. Yeah, I can do that, man. And you brought it over for me, so I appreciate that. Oh my fuck! Let's. Fucking go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another retro video game find. This is the Sunday special. Uh, usually, I don't score on Sundays, or at least yard sale wise, but it did rain yesterday and it was kind of raining this morning, so I was expecting a lot of them to be canceled today. There was only about five sales posted. I managed to freestyle and go to a couple on the way to other sales. There was no games at all. Um, the last place that I went to, and this, I was literally on my way home. This got posted and I said, well, I may as well. It's a 10 minute drive, I'll go check it out. I get there, there's no games. Um, I was a little salty because I was really tired over the last 24 hours with the, the car accident, my mom's 50th birthday last night. I didn't get all that much sleep and I was like, Jeff, you should have just stayed in bed. And um, so I leave that yard sale that had no games. I went back into the truck to look one last time on my phone to see if there was another posting uh, and there was no posting. And then I looked to my left and I was, it was pretty hot out. It just, it stopped raining. The sun's out, it's really hot. And there were, the little girls that were there was uh, selling some lemonade. It was like 50 cents a cup. So I had a loonie in the car and uh, I went over and I asked for a glass of lemonade. Gave her a dollar, uh, was on my way back to the truck, and I turn around, because I heard a door open, and a gentleman from the yard sale, the same yard sale, comes out of the house to like have a cigarette or something, and he's wearing a retro shirt. Like he's wearing a retro video game shirt. So I turn around, 
and I say, hey, do you have any you know, video games for sale? And he gives me that look that every single person gives when they got video games, like this. That right there, where he's thinking, yeah, I have games. I don't really want to sell them, but I kind of do, but I kind of don't. And as soon as I saw that, I said, uh, do you have any old stuff? And I started listening, uh, listing Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega. And he said, yeah, I got all that stuff. And I don't think I had my camera on then. Uh, so he was like, I don't want to sell any of it. And I said, well, I played this card. I said, well, is there things that you don't play or you'd be willing to get rid of? If you would just bring this stuff out, I can make you an offer. If you don't like the offer, you can take it back in. No harm, no foul. And he hummed and hawed a sec, and then he didn't say anything. He was just kind of standing there, and um, I, I started looking at some of the other stuff on the tables, and he said, all right, I'll be right back. So I said, great. And that's when I went to the truck to grab the camera. Um, I had the camera kind of on a weird angle for a lot of it because I just kind of clipped it right here. Um, I didn't have the glasses on when I was talking to him, so I thought it would have been kind of weird for me to go to the truck to put on sunglasses. So I just kind of tried to make it as discreet as possible so you guys could at least hear what was going on. Um, I tried to get the camera strategically so you could see the box of games and stuff. There was probably 40 games, maybe a bit more, 40 to 50 games in total. Um, I went through and I picked out every single game. I told him, hey, can I go grab my phone? I have uh, an app that tells me what games I have. And he said, sure, why not? And then I also was looking up the prices as I was seeing, because on the same screen it shows you how much the games are worth and then if you have it or not. So I was kind of doing two things at once. And I always let people know so they don't think I'm like looking up the prices on eBay. I always just tell them, hey, I'm a collector and I'm just, I want to make sure I'm not buying a double. And he had, they're like, okay. So I ended up picking out these games here. Um, I got it all for uh, $60. I asked him, I said, um, you know, how much are you looking for per game? And he didn't really know. He, he mentioned that he sold a Super Nintendo last year with eight games for 200 bucks. And I kind of said like, oh, you must have some really good games because I didn't want him to think like, I'm gonna spend $200 on these games. And uh, he started listing off some really good games. So I was like, oh, okay, then that makes sense type thing. Um, so anyway, I'll go through the, uh, through the games and then uh, I'll tell you again, my thought process on making the deal. Uh, let me go with the games that I'm going to add to my collection. Snake's Revenge. Pretty good game right there. I think that's like a $20 game or so, maybe $20, $25. Bucks. Uh, of course, all Canadian prices again. So that's that right there. Almost all the games are in good shape except for this one, uh, Battletoads. It's got a crack right here. I asked him if, it, if he knew it worked. He said it, it, it does. Uh, I'm sure it does. I mean, these things can take a little bit of a beating. But it's got a crack. The bottom of the label um, is starting to peel a little bit, but in general, it's the label is in decent shape. It's just kind of the cart that's in a little bit of a, got a dent there, but no big deal. So I got, uh, got Battletoads. I don't think that one is very expensive. Um, I think it's the Double Dragon Battletoads one that is expensive. But anyway, that's going into the, uh, the collection. You got Castlevania 2. Didn't have that one. That's going in the collection. Uh, that's worth a couple bucks as well. I uh, got Super C. Uh, it's just got some crayon in there. It's like they colored in between, but the, the card itself is in really great shape. By the way, um, I clean up all my games with Magic Marker and stuff like that. I get it looking like brand new. I'll show you guys uh, the next time I get a game that is all kinds of marked up. Uh, I'll do it live on video and I'll show you uh, how you can make your games go from looking like this to looking basically new. Uh, which will raise the value when you go to sell. And it's also a good bargaining chip when you're buying games from people. If they have marker and stuff, you can be like, you can kind of downplay it a bit, be like, oh man, it's pretty marked up. And uh, usually that'll save you five, 10 bucks depending on the title um, because people just don't know you can get rid of the stuff very, very easily and for nothing pretty much. So uh, yeah, there we go. I uh, got uh, Nintendo World Cup. Didn't have that. I don't think that's worth too much. We've got uh, Low G Man, don't have that. I didn't even look up the price, but uh, that's gonna be added to the collection. We've got uh, Baseball, obviously shitbox, but adding it to the collection. And uh, Battle of Olympus, I'm not sure if that's worth anything. Uh, it's got a sticker on the side and it's just got some marker on there. It looks like it was part of a video store um, here in Windsor, Nova Scotia. Um, and it's got some writing there, but once again, I will get all that off and it'll look minty again. 
So those are the eight games I got to add to my collection. Already well worth the 60 bucks that I paid. Uh, and then here are the doubles. The reason why I took these doubles over the other ones is for obvious reason. They're expensive games and uh, they're great for trade bait or just straight up cash. Um, here is a copy of River City Ransom. Kind of a hard game to get. I know two people that already want this. Actually, two days ago, somebody asked me if I had this game, and I said, I do, but I'm not selling it because I don't have a double. Now I do. So this will definitely sell. This is like a $50 game. Uh, this is in insanely good condition. I will be trading this out for my other one. My other one, uh, I do believe, has uh, maybe a sticker on the label, or it's got minor label damage somewhere on it. I'm not sure. But uh, this one's in such great shape. I'm going to put that one in my collection, sell the other one. So. I'm going to sell this game, we'll pretty much get all my money back. Um, then I have Double Dragon 1 and 2. Uh, I recently sold Double Dragon 1 and 2 because I have these both uh, complete in box. Sold them two for $40, which is a you know a good deal. I, I never charge full re retail prices for games unless they're really rare and hard to find. Things like this, pretty popular. Um, they're sought after games. People have a lot of nostalgia from playing these. So these are easy sells, kind of like Mario 3, Mario 2, those sort of games. So 40 bucks, I'll definitely get for these two. I'll clean them up a bit. One's a little dirty, this one here. Uh, so that's bank right there. Uh, we got a copy of Bubble Bobble. I sold a copy for $25. I had it posted for 30 uh, and it ended up selling it for uh, 25. Uh, this was uh, another double that I had picked up from a big lot from a girl that I got and uh, yeah, made, made some money back on that deal and I know I'll be able to sell this for, I'll put it up for 30 and I'll, I'll settle for 25. So there's Bubble Bobble. Got a copy of Bad Dudes. This is another game that I do believe is just like Double Dragon. Um, I, I want to say I've played this as a kid, but I do have a copy and um, I've seen the name kind of circling around quite a bit, so I knew I could probably resell this or trade it. So that's why I picked that up. I don't think it's a super expensive game, maybe 10 to 15 bucks, but uh, it's a good, good copy. And I got another copy of Contra. This one's got some label damage there, so I'll put it up for 30, 35 bucks and uh, do a quick sell. This is a third copy that I have. Um, for those who didn't watch a video last week, I man managed to pick up a box copy of this and I already had a copy. So I've now got one that's in great shape and this one here that's got a little bit of label damage. So the really good shape one uh, I have up for 40 bucks. I'll sell this for 30, 35 and uh, Bob's your uncle. So I got those six games and these eight games all for $60. Let's fucking go guys. It's always a good thing when you can add eight games to the collection and uh, and sell off some games. I'll probably make a hundred dollars profit and uh, that's just money that'll go right into uh, the collection or help paying off uh, the investment that I've made for my video game so far which is going down immensely over the last uh, month. I have so much stuff to sell it's ridiculous. I gotta go and bundle a bunch of stuff right now. I'll probably do it on stream. I might be streaming while this video, uh, while you're watching this video, so you, you can go check out the stream uh, in the description below. Uh, also, before I went home, I made a quick trade. I had a copy of uh, Brain Lord that I accidentally bought thinking it was um, Soul Blazer, and I already had a copy of Brain Lord, so I traded my double for two, two NES games that I didn't have. I got Exodus. Uh, Exodus Ultima and a uh, fairly good one. It's kind of, I think it's like a 17 to $20 game. Uh, super Off-Road. It's only got a little sticker there on the front, but it's no big deal. Super Off-Road and Ultima. Brain Lord goes for about $25. So uh, I just wanted a fair trade value and uh, I got to add two games. So just today we get to, uh, to add 10 games to the NES collection, which is great. Uh, also, I forgot to add uh, he gave me all Nintendo sleeves for the games as well, like official Nintendo sleeves. Got a stack of them, so that was thrown into the deal, uh, the $60 deal as well. Um, that's going to be it. Nice, short, sweet video. Uh, go and check out those Amazon affiliate links if you're buying stuff on Amazon, doesn't matter what it is, uh, in the description below. Follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting up retro stuff before the videos comes up and it warns you guys when a video is coming as well, uh, along with 
you know, my everyday life and, you know, all that stuff if you're interested. If not, I totally understand. Um, so yeah, go and uh, follow the social media links. And uh, I think that's pretty much all the plugin. Oh, also, I was told that my animation was done for my, my, uh, my retro video game videos. So maybe on this video, I have those animations in there. If so, let me know what you think about them. I haven't even watched them yet. So um, I'm excited to go and check those out. And if they are done, they will be in this video. So shout outs to my animator, uh, my man Chess. Thank you, dude, I really appreciate it. Uh, really talented guy that uh, works on some really popular shows. Um, really, really cool dude, so big thank you. And of course, if you guys want to uh, send me some video games, I have a P.O. Box, link is in the description below. Go check that out, or not link, but address is in the description below. That's it guys, thank you so much. Uh, huge videos are coming. I still have like four or 500 games downstairs. I'm gonna do a massive video. It's gonna be like an hour long video. Uh, so for those hardcore people that really love this stuff, I've got some crazy gems and I've got a shit, just volume of games that we're going to be going through. So look out for that video that is coming soon. Thank you so much, guys. Stay motherfucking boss. I'm hyped. I'm hyped right now.